So this is a comic book that they all made. Yeah, Ted came in for the last class. During the uh, semester, whatever we call these five-week sessions, they worked on their own comic. But for the last class, uh, I always try to do something different and, you know, have a little party or something. But Ted came in and he goes, hey, I got an idea. Let's have him work on a jam comic. So you can tell the size of this paper is pretty big. So basically, Ted would... Uh, I rough, uh, actually, we worked a story out together, all yeah. the kids. Well, he asked the kids what type of character you want to do, like a, whatever, a, a monster, a hero. And of course, they picked the monster, and then they zeroed it down to a zombie monster. And thingy. they thought of the name, Zompocalypse, they thought of they all of that. They came up with the name, and then Ted started describing a scenario, and then he's asking them, okay, what happens next? Or So, you know, he's showing them basic uh, setup, establishing shot, you know, a wide shot, close up. But then, you know, they're coming up with the monster. Yeah, all we did is uh, we worked out the story together. I blocked out very loose pencils, just blocked it out like stick figures pretty much. And then each kid, the kids just started drawing this thing all together. We had two kids doing four pages each. Yeah, so we had it on the table. It was all on the table here. So then there'd be two kids and then one kid would ink this side, <laughs> other kid that side, and then they'd be kids on that side. Yep. Da, da, da. And then once these kids were done, they flip it over. Flip it over, and then they ink that side, and vice versa. And then they started coloring it. But it's really funny because they're working here, and then I'm telling Ted, I feel like uh, those old guys from the '40s running the old comic sweatshops. He got like rows, literally rows of kids slaving away on the book. It was great seeing all the kids working together, though, collaborating so, together. Cover. Just get an idea of what. Yeah, they were collaborating because some guy. Kids will go, hey, should we add other people? Yeah, or, and, and you know, look, someone ended up putting an impaled guy on the guy's <laughs> axe. Ted didn't do that. No, no. But I we didn't. told him, do whatever you want. And um, What I like is the, is the far out coloring. Yeah, it's really it's real exciting. And then, you know, the kids, everybody's real polite. They're all very professional. That's what I, I kind of got a sense of. They're, everybody's working. They know they're working on this project together. And they're professional. Oh, excuse me. You know, can I get that pen? Yeah, they were. Yeah, we we kept hammering in their head because they, they kept saying, "Oh, this is mine. This is mine." Yeah. Go, well, yeah. Individually, you drew that. You inked that. But overall, it's all our comic. Just like any comic book that like a big company puts out, or any cartoon that a studio puts out. Yeah. Everybody's working together on something. Now, kids were doing that. After we set that up, I realized there were a couple kids that didn't have pages to work on. So I told them. We have to do a promotional poster for the comic book, and this is what we came up with. Yeah, so those three extra kids, so Ted drew, uh, laid out a quick pencil sketch, and yeah. the kids jumped in with the markers, and uh, did all the, you know, they were all a bunch of little Mike Royers and yeah. Terry Austins for you comic fans it's out It's amazing, amazing stuff that they did. Um, I, I was not sure if this was going to get done. I didn't know because it's a lot of work to do in like, what, like an hour. Yeah, it was actually less because there's was so much, than... yeah. So, but I mean, you know, as some kid is working here, the other kids are yep. just, can we add skulls in the background? We're all sure. Yeah. So one kid did these three, another here. There's a bam, there's a snake coming through yep. a skull's so head. The, they were totally, they totally impressed me, and none of them, knocked me out. None of them were arguing like, hey, I'm doing that. There was no arguing at all. If huh? someone's busy here, the just move to the next part. Yep. So it was actually really nice. It and a, I always say credit is very important. And, and they all got their credits. They all drew their own uh, portraits too. Yeah, I know. These guys got eagles like some of us grown yeah. up artists, man. Yeah. <laughs> they, their names and their drawings and then um, created by. And Hav, so you're saying that maybe you might try to see if you could put this on display and there's a Yeah, there's case. a showcase up front. This is here in my comic book class at Pico Park, Pico Rivera, California. I've been uh, teaching here now. I think... Uh, a year and a half. Hmm. I don't think it's two years, but uh, so a couple of these kids have been in. They've been taking it almost about six or seven times already. So it's pretty neat to have this. But anyway, this was a fun project. I mean, you put a piece of paper and a marker in the kid's hand, an artistic kid. Yep. They will fill up the page. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm totally impressed. I, I'm so happy. I had no idea it was going to work, but it worked. I didn't either. I was like, wow, this could be a. <laughs> And I, I wanted to make sure, so I asked a couple times, Hob, do you want, is that okay if we try this? And yeah. you said, go for it. Hey, I need to fill up an hour and a half. Like I said, my last <laughs> class, I don't have too much going on. And uh, one of the kids even through say, goes, look, I put a cross on it like a muerto skull. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get an A in the class. But anyway, wow. this is great. It's just, uh, you know, we all love comics, or a lot of us do, and so do kids, and they do a good job doing that. So cool. thanks, Ted, and thanks... Damien, Richard, Matt, Nick, Jason, Luke, and Nathaniel.